The next season for Fallout 76, Shoot for the Stars, is shaping up to be one of the most unique seasons so far. Going live in June, the latest data mines have revealed a lot about what to expect, so in today's video we're going through all the known rewards, including a fascinating new ally, movie posters, amazing new floor decor options for camp builders, a miniature city, a new shelter, and much much more. Let's take a closer look at Season 13. Special thanks to Sugar Bombs Rads for providing me with the visuals for today's video. Consistently giving us a first look at new items coming to the game, please give them a follow on Twitter. All links are in the video description. Up first in today's video we have Joey Bello, the latest light ally to come with a season scoreboard. Continuing a recent trend of drastically different allies catered to a scoreboard's theme, Joey is a stand-up comic who comes with his own soundstage. Remind his audience to clap with a new water decor option, the applause sign, and like every scoreboard, we can expect a series of player icons, including the season's logo itself, but we also have the Empire on the Nile, Mass Attraction, Manzaloid vs Roborilla, Clown, Motorcycle, Blue Devil, and Clapperboard. Another staple of every season are the Power Armor paints, and these will definitely stand out with the golden paint available for every current suit of Power Armor. An acquired taste perhaps, but the obligatory season armor paint set arguably stands out even more, as we have the Stuntman paint. This is available for every type of armor, barring the Brotherhood Recon. Uh, I'm not sure why this one doesn't make the cut again, but it does seem to be a regular occurrence. We aren't just getting gold power armor though, as weapons are also getting the treatment too. The gilded paint can be applied to the 10mm, 44 pistol, Gatling gun and railway rifle. The Fallout universe has its own variant of the Oscar it would seem, with the Goldies Award. Coming in two drastically different sizes as you can see in these images. Weaponizer microphone with the boomstick bada boom skin for the super sledge. And yeah, really happy to see these added, but those western facades from Nuka World on tour will now be beautiful at your own camp. And it comes with a total of five with the boarding house, jail, general store, apothecary, and gunsmith. Become your own cryptid with the rubber monster outfit, which does bear a strong resemblance to that creature from the Black Lagoon. Alternatively, place down a movie billboard sporting a poster for Attack of the Fishmen, now in cinemas countrywide. Unsurprisingly, this season has a strong Hollywood theme going on, and that's reflected by the amount of water core options we're getting in the form of these posters. There's plenty to choose from here, featuring all of the cryptos we can meet in-game, but also the Jersey Devil, perhaps a teaser for something in the future. One of the standout items in the first time this has happened, but a new shelter is on the scoreboard too. This one is called the Soundstage, and it's the perfect place to make your own studio using all the items you can also claim from Shoot for the Stars. It looks really spacious inside with plenty of light options. One of the items that would be right at home in here is the new floor decor studio camera, and I think this one will be very popular. Another great world object that is now a future camp object is this movie projector, and judging by these in-game photos, it appears it will be somewhat usable, perhaps displaying the devil's moon once turned on. Moving on, there is a host of theatre-themed items, including these theatre row seating. A new camp furniture option, these also appear to have foldable seats too. But that's not all though, with this theatre door, which looks fantastic. A powered theatre marquee sign can be attached to your build too, with space to add your own letters, which also come with this scoreboard, as we'll see in a minute. There's also a set of signs as well, with the concessions, box office, and the main theatre itself, to really complete the look. There's also a different concession sign, and a card display. This water core option is a new display item that will allow you to display cards you can earn from the new events that will come with once in a blue moon. And here's how all of those look. But now for those letters, and yeah, coming in both black and red with some extra characters thrown in too. Any good production needs a director, and the director might need a chair, which we are also getting with this director's chair. Golden rope barriers are another floor decor item coming with next season. And continuing the theme but moving away from camp items, a new backpack and flare combo is the camera backpack and film reel flare. It's a really nice backpack skin, irrespective of the theme I think. We aren't just getting a new card display holder though, with this brand new display for your backpack flares themselves, and here's how it looks once it's been used. It figures that the wallpaper would reflect this season too, and the art deco wallpaper definitely does just that. A pair of new camera mode frames are also coming with the movie reel and film strip frames. Moving on to outfits now, up first we have this Crystal Gazer outfit, and the Luchador outfit and mask combo is also coming with Shoot for the Stars, and seems to be an edited version of a much older data mine that was yet to release, so it's good to see that it did end up being used. Another jumpsuit to add to your collection next with the race car driver outfit, and finally for outfits we have for the first time, 
a skin for the Chinese stealth suit. And this camo version looks pretty good in these in-game shots. Back to camp items now with the wooden vanity up first. And this next one has been suggested by players for a while and it's nice to see it arriving on a scoreboard and it's the gramophone. It's actually listed as a camp utility item too and not flawed cool. Finish off your stage with some appropriate lighting with a new studio floodlights. And I'm interested to see how bright these are. If you prefer a variety of coloured lights, then these neon lights are likely a better fit for you. And it's a good indicator of how they will actually look in these shots. The popcorn machine is getting the Hollywood treatment with this new painted version, which I actually think I prefer to the first one we got. Your loot bag can also become a bag of popcorn too, apparently. It figures that on a scoreboard full of Hollywood themed items, we would be getting a Hollywood stars floor and foundation set. Perhaps inspired by all the miniature builds that members of the community have been making, a miniature city set is coming with Shoot for the Stars. I imagine it will function like the previously released miniature village set. The red carpet rug is up next, and here's how it looks set down. A red curtain door is also available, and yeah, big fan of how it looks too, and another great addition. More floor decor and another rug, we have the Sheep Scotch rug, perhaps one for the Hunter's Lodge from Season 12. I saved one of my most anticipated items for last, and this is called the Pyrotechnic Kit, and it looks like it just needs to be powered and attached to a switch, which will have some explosive results. Perfect for some extra special effects. And of course, completing any season will reward you with a water core scoreboard and thematic stein to remind you of your journey. But that's it for season 13 rewards that have been data mined. Certainly a surprise initially as I was certain Shoot for the Stars was going to be a reference to the Zetans or something, with them returning in their seasonal event around the same time. What we got instead was a nice surprise though, and continues a trend of really well structured scoreboards with rewards that actually match the theme. But what do you think? Where do you think these rewards stack up compared to previous seasons? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this particular video, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. We post a variety of Fallout 76 content, so turning on the bell icon is definitely the best way to stay up to date. With that said, well, I'm off. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.